What is up? What is up? It is your boy, Jay, from Jay's World. And I'm bringing you another episode of This Week in Gaming. So, with the end of August, we have a lot of games coming out. Leaving the Game Pass, a lot of games added to the Game Pass beginning September, going towards the end of the year. Um, I'm excited because they got a bunch of cool games that I've tried out and um, I love. So first I'm going to talk about a game called Tinykin, which came out on the Xbox Game Pass yesterday um i liked it so much i honestly went ham on it i played it majority of yesterday and i finished it earlier today um now tinykin is a guy that he travels to another planet he's shrunk down in size and he has these little creatures to help him get through different worlds so it's basically you're like in a living room and you're shrunk down size and you got to get through. It's very similar to um, Pikmin, if you guys remember that from GameCube, um, Lemmings, stuff of that nature. Um, I really like this game. So I, like I said, I went ham on it and I finished it. I don't have everything. So I'm going to continue to play it till I get all the stuff. Um, definitely recommend it. If you got a, a Game Pass, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, second game I tried a little bit earlier today is Immortals Phoenix Rising. Now, this game is basically if God of War and Assassin's Creed had a baby, this was what it would be. It's made by Ubisoft, some, uh, you know, makers behind Assassin's Creed. So it has the gameplay mechanics on that. So picture Assassin's Creed, but with God of War mythos. You know, you got Hades, Apollo, Zeus, Poseidon, Aphrodite, all the Greek gods are in there. So this is a cool game. Um, I just started it and um, I'm definitely feeling it. Um, now, speaking of Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Origins is on the Game Pass. Came out a few months ago for the Game Pass and... Um, this is one, that's actually one of my favorite ones. I haven't gotten real deep into it, but we do get it Assassin's Creed and a Call of Duty every year. So, you know, it kind of gets tiresome, but when you, if you dip into it every once in a while, it's cool. So that one, I would uh, recommend people giving it a go if you're interested in trying it out. Um, speaking of Immortals, there's a game called Immortality that came out yesterday on the Game Pass. And it's basically a live action story about an actress that has gone missing. She made three films. they never been released. So within these three films, you're like kind of like a director and you can speed up and rewind and try to solve the mystery of what happened to this girl, this woman. Um, if you are familiar with Telling Lies and her story, it is the same filmmaker, the same style with live action video. And you got to kind of like click on certain points and it'll take you to a different video. Um, I haven't gotten too far into it, but it's an interesting game. And there is a disclaimer on it because there is nudity. There's adult themes. Uh, they talk about god the devil the religion suicide it's a big it's a big deal so hopefully i'm gonna get into it um later today but i'm gonna try some ga other games first and um probably try it later on um also with that being said um tuesday the ninja turtles cowabunga collection came out for all consoles it's 40 bucks and it's basically 13 Ninja Turtle games from NES, SNES, Genesis, and Game Boy. Um, I haven't picked this up as yet, but I am a huge Ninja Turtle fan. And um, I think it's a must-have for the collection. 
but forty dollars for some old games is kind of pricey so you know some people might say wait for it but um i don't know i might pick it up you know this week is uh a good week for me so i might pick it up uh, either tomorrow or friday depending um we all remember that classic nes board underwater where you had to disarm the bombs and that was hard as hell so I think this makes it a little bit easier because they have a fast forward, rewind, and I believe there's a god mode. Uh, achievements, trophies are pretty simple from what I've seen basically for beating each game. So not too much difficulty in, in um, I guess, uh, getting a, a gold completion or trophy completion if that's what you prefer. But... Uh, uh, I'll give it a go when I get a chance. Um, also, we have The Last of Us Part 1 Remake. Now, I'm seeing reviews of this. They're giving it a high score. Um, I played Last of Us 1, the remastered version, on the PS4. That was one of the first PS4 games that I got because I wasn't had PS1, PS2, PS3, I didn't buy it. I got it late. Actually, um, I found one and I repaired it. But um, I got my PS4 Pro and that was one of the free games that came with it. I, I like the game. I like Part 2, but I don't know. Do we need a Last of Us for PS3, 4, and 5? I'm not sure. Um... Well, I pick it up. I'm not sure either. I mean, seventy dollars for a re-release or a re uh, a remastered or a remake of a game that's been out for two previous consoles. I don't know. Um, maybe catch it if there's a sale, or you know, I might just flip a switch and say I'll buy it. I I don't know. Um, we'll see. But um, what I wanted to let you guys know, if you guys don't already know, um, me and my buddy Dietrich Davis, we have started a podcast called Vultures of Pop Culture. We are currently on Spotify. We are on Google Podcasts as well. So you just type in Vultures of Pop Culture. Right now we have three episodes up. Um third episode was dropped earlier today so we will be releasing new episodes every wednesday from now on we are talking about video games pop culture movies old and new comic books old and new um upcoming shows from marvel dc upcoming movies so comic con horror con all of that so all of that under that spectrum if you are interested in giving a listen, please check us out. We, like I said, Vultures of Pop Culture on Spotify, on Google Podcasts. And um, I just hope y'all enjoy what we put out because it's going to be some interesting stuff. Some stuff um, a little sensitive for viewers, but we are going to gonna dig deep into it. So with that being said, um, I'll see you guys later. You can catch me on all social media, whether it's Twitter, um, IG, Twitch, YouTube, Jay's World 430. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay well. Be safe. Later.